Some folks say that WD-40 is great for use in your drivetrain, while others say it'll damage your chain's O-rings, lower your IQ, and even cause earthquakes. But we want to know the truth. We'll get to the bottom of it in this video from the MC Garage. O-rings. These are the little guys that seal the grease in a sealed chain, and they're the little buggers that everyone is so damn concerned about. Will WD-40 kill them or keep them happy? It's one of the most controversial topics in motorcycling. Supporters say WD-40 is great for cleaning and lubing your chain and won't harm a thing. Critics say WD-40, or more specifically the petroleum distillates within WD-40, will dry out your O-rings, displace grease, and cause your chain to spontaneously combust. Now I'm no petrochemical engineer, but I did ace high school chemistry and I feel pretty smart in a lab coat, so I decided to squash the controversy once and for all. To begin with, what is WD-40? The material safety data sheet lists the main ingredient as heavy naphtha, which is a petrochemical similar to kerosene or mineral spirits. So for all intents and purposes, WD-40 is primarily kerosene. And guess what? Kerosene is great for cleaning your chain. In fact, your owner's manual likely even suggests using kerosene to wash your chain. But WD-40 isn't 100% heavy naphtha, and there might still be some ingredients in there that'll cause your chain's O-rings to swell up and die. So, to find out just how detrimental WD-40 might be, we disassemble the chain, dropped some O-rings into a test tube, filled it with WD-40, and let it sit overnight. And the next day, they were fine. Compared to the control O-ring that slept in an empty test tube, the parts in the WD-40 bath were the exact same size and consistency. And this is after 12 hours of total submersion. Still not convinced? Here's some O-rings that I put in a test tube over three months ago. Same deal, perfectly intact. All right, so O-rings and WD-40 get along just fine. But as it turns out, I had more O-rings, more test tubes, and a lot of very intense smelling chemicals at my disposal, so I decided to see what would mess up the O-rings. Big surprise, acetone will cause the O-rings to soften and deteriorate in a hurry, while gasoline does the same thing, although to a lesser extent. Chain cleaner, as you might expect, is perfectly harmless, while brake cleaner is definitely bad news. And get this, some shops will actually use brake cleaner to clean your chain in a hurry. Definitely look out for that. Well, that was fun. And by now, it should be pretty clear that WD-40 will not harm those little O-rings. However, WD is primarily a solvent and not a lubricant. So while I can use WD-40 to clean or dry a wet chain, you should not be using it to lubricate your chain. For that, you're gonna to wanna to use a proper chain lubricant. So to reiterate, WD-40 to clean your chain, proper chain lube to keep things running smoothly. And if you're still even remotely concerned about WD-40 shortening the lifespan of your drivetrain, don't use it. There are literally dozens of products on the market specifically designed for cleaning O-ring chains. Oh, and if you're not sure how to properly clean and lube your chain, check out the MC Garage video where we show you how. Until next time, this is Ari Henning signing off from the MC Garage.